I just got back from a job interview and changed into a dress to get ready to go on a date with my hubby. And right now I'm going to show you how to take your everyday look and turn it into an evening look. And if you'd like to see the video where I put on this makeup look that I have on right now, you can go to Makeup Look for Every Day and see that video. So I already have the base of my makeup on right now. What I'm going to do first is to take this Papa Don't Peach Blush by Too Faced, and I use that in my day look. I'm just going to freshen up my blush a little bit. It doesn't really need it right now, but if you've gone a whole day through work or school or something, you probably need to freshen up your blush by that point. So just kind of make sweeping upward motions with your blush brush. And this is a Sonia Kashuk blush brush, by the way. You can get it at Target. And next I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown Party Eye Palette Kit. It's really cute and compact and perfect for your purse. And I'm going to put on some shades to make my eyes look a little more dramatic for evening. So here's the palette. It comes with this dual-ended um, eyeshadow brush which is nice. It's got kind of this pointy stiff brush right here which is an eyeliner brush and then it has this one which is just an all over eyeshadow brush. I'm actually not going to use this, I'm going to use my uh, regular eyeshadow brushes but it's a nice feature if you're out and about and you need brushes to apply this. Um, it starts out with this nice highlighting shade and then this is kind of a pearl pink shade. Um, this is a shiny kind of taupe. This is more of a darker champagne pink color. Um, kind of a medium brown and then finally a really dark brown. So um, what I'm going to do is use this pink, um, this brown, and this dark brown, kind of all the bottom shades, to just up the drama a little bit. So I'm going to start off with this large eyeshadow brush by Sonia Kashuk. You can also get it at Target. And I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. Next I'm going to take this crease brush by Sonia Kashuk in this medium brown shade. And just kind of take it back and forth in the crease. Like so. And then I'm finally going to take the crease brush and put it into the dark shade. I'm not going to take too much of it because it looks like a little bit goes a long way. And I'm going to just um, use this mirror that came with the compact and kind of dot it in the corner of my eyelid, the outer corner, and take it in a teeny little V shape. Starting up here, and going underneath my eye a little bit, but just the outer corner. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Start by dotting it a little bit, and then start taking it back and forth into that small V shape. Now at this point, it's going to be a little bit thick, but you can take your blending brush and kind of soften the lines a little bit. This is a brush by Too Faced, and it's really great for blending all the colors together to make it more natural. So just kind of swirl that around. You do still want your eyes to stand out, though. You want to drama, a look filled with drama for your date night look or your party look. So 
So I'm done with this compact now, and I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use this mirror right here because I like to put on my eyeliner and mascara in a close-up mirror. And this is, let's see, Physi Physician's Formula Eye Definer Felt Tip Eye Marker in Ultra Black. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a marker, but it acts like waterproof liquid liner, which is great. It's kind of mistake proof, I guess you could say. So start from the inner corner and go outward and kind of make a little flick at the end there. Um, kind of like a cat eye, but not quite as dramatic. But you can do a cat eye if you want to. I'm just not going quite as far out on my face. It's just a bit thicker of a line than my eye pencil, and it ups the drama. And I'm taking my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Waterproof Mascara in black, and it's what I use for my day look video, but I'm adding another coat just to the top lashes. The bottom lashes tend to get kind of spidery looking if you put too much mascara on them. Make sure you really coat those top lashes. And so I chose to kind of emphasize my eyes for this evening look, but if you'd like, you could also do it so that you don't have very dark eye makeup, but you have kind of a darker, bright lip color. You don't want to emphasize too many features at once because then you tend to kind of look like a clown, <laughs> and you don't want that. Um, so I'm doing more of a neutral lip here. Um, let's see, let me just pick it out real quick. This is Elizabeth Arden lip gloss. It's um, High Shine lip gloss, and this is the shade Tropic Coral. It's a little more expensive, but this actually came in a four pack, so it's fairly good value. And it's really nice and creamy, and it doesn't feel sticky at all. So just kind of take that back and forth on your lips. smoosh your lips together and the look is done. So I'll come in a little closer so you can see it. Thanks so much for watching.